Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Avernum 3 Ruined World. This will be part 43 of our Let's Play. And in the last episode we uh, had a bit of a tussle with an altar that uh, kind of killed our whole party because, you know, we sort of triggered a trap to set us all on fire. But it's fine, we made it now. So we're back in Lorelei and we're going to talk to the mayor. Uh, I mean, an aging woman, her dark hair shot through with many thin bands of grey. She wears the mayor's sash of Lorelei. It weighs her down as if it's made of lead. Hi, Mayor Bruett. Welcome, traveller. You have come far and done much. That is why you are allowed into our beleaguered city. Mayor, have you any missions for me? She leans forward and pats you on the arm. We have no need of your help, not with the Empire to look after us. Rest, stay safe, and wait. The Empire will provide, I'm sure of it. Are you sure that course is wise? Hasn't the Empire left you to your fate? She looks annoyed. If I did not think you could be useful to us, I would have jailed you for those treasonous statements. Anything we do may interfere with what the Empire is surely planning to help us. Empress Prazak will provide. It is not for you to question her. It's all for now, thanks. Don't I have to... What's my next main quest? Oh right, no we, didn't we last episode track down like where the power is coming from, where the energy source is, it's like over here, or something, right, maybe, hmm, quest find Zik, yeah what do we got here, bunker find Zik, a soldier's possession. Ah, oh, right, we were talking to Bruscrew, not uh, not the mayor. That's right. That's right. Where the hell did she live? Where's Bruscrew when she's around? Is she in here? Nope, that's ill, giant. It's fine, just leave that door open. Sure, nothing will, uh, nothing will happen. That's also not Bruscrew. Is she in here? This could be a barracks. That looks like a desk. There we go. What more do you want, Avonite? The commander of the guard sits rioting notes and orders, but she wears full plate armor while doing it. Not surprising, considering she's an Empire dervish, the most dedicated and single-minded of the Empire's troops. I might have something might have something belonging to one of your soldiers. Show your items. You give Bruscrude an item you found in the giant's caverns. She grins. Excellent. Thank you. She pays you 300 coins. Hmm. I guess we'll do that again, and again, and again. It's 1200 bucks. She checks her records. That is all of the missing equipment. I was Sorry, that's all the missing equipment I was told about. No need to risk your life for those heirlooms anymore. Thank you. As a reward, she gives you a bow. The ever-rotting bow. Interesting. Uh, I freed a soldier from the giant's cabin. The soldier you rescued got back to town. Bravely done. It seems like Avernum's doing more for us than the Empire these days. Okay, so I, do I just do that repeatedly? Done. Uh, no, no, no. She checks her records. And that's all of our missing soldiers accounted for. You've done much for us. I'm grateful. As a reward, she gives you a belt. The girdle of mine. Do love me a girdle. Uh, he trips something up with his stress. Very well. My praise is scarce, but they deserve it. Sorry, very well. My praise is scarce, but they deserve it. They are loyal and strong, if something, a, if sometimes a little deranged. Deranged? Well, one fellow passing through here said he'd seen dragons. Dragons! As if they hadn't been wiped out years ago. Forget his name. He headed up to Dorngus to serve there. If you meet him, try not to get him started. He'd rant for hours. Another question. How are things going, Commander? I command my troops, all loyal and strong men and women, in the crushing war with the giants. She clenches a gauntleted fist. It would be less of a struggle if our leadership were not so feeble. What's wrong with your leadership? She looks distressed, as if it's a struggle to say, to say what she's saying. Our mayor refuses to act. She lets our people die while waiting for the Empire to aid us. My Empire, that I swore to give my life for, has shut us off. We must fend for ourselves. How do you plan to fend for yourselves? That is why I've welcomed you here. You've won battles. We have not. I hope there were things you could do for us. 
Empire doesn't help you, but you're still loyal to them. Imagine how difficult this is for me to say. I would rather be slain by the giants than turn from my leaders, but I have soldiers to protect, and the people of this town as well. That is why I'm welcoming Avonites. Our people are more important than my oath. Uh, how do you know that I'm an Avonite? She turns towards you, adjusting her breastplate slightly. It's my job to know. I'm the commander of the forces of Lorelei. I lead us in our battles against the giants. You're probably wondering why I'm welcoming you. How goes your battle with giants? Uh, to the feebleness of our leaders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, look at all that delicious XP coming in. Uh, right, and we got like the Girdle of Might and that other thing. Okay, ever running bow, I'll probably just put on myself. Although, it doesn't do as much damage. Hmm. Yes, I'll add 50%, 50% bonus. Eh, you know what? It's magic, we'll give it a go. And a girdle of might, which probably went to you, right? Plus one to strength, you've got plus two to strength. Uh, I got the blessed belt. This is probably better. Definitely is. It's slightly less armor, but... That is no reason to, uh, to knock off two strength points. Alright, so let's get out of here, shall we? And what we might do... Is, uh, go over here. We're gonna have a look over this way. We have explored it a little. But not a huge amount. So that big section of the um been to. Yep, that's a guard tower. Don't want them to know we're uh, we're bringing the Garnj in. We know how much they love that. Actually, what if I go this way? What if we try and link these up? Because there's a big area here we sort of haven't explored. Hello. You see a large stone circle at the end of the path. The stones are huge and misshapen, and huge, ugly, warty humanoids wander among them. The bones of their many victims crunch underneath attacks. These must be troglodytes? No, altered giants. This was a mistake! Oh my god, they're nearly gonna wipe my team right at the start. And they stun both my people. Right, let's just go ahead and do a sanctification ritual. Oh, that doesn't cure stunning. That's not good. That's that's not what you want to see. That right there, not what you want to see. Oh, fucking cleave. God, I'm going to be flat out keeping everyone alive here. Protection, and yeah, I, I just got to keep dropping a daze and hope I get all of them this time, or at least most of them. Ugh. Yeah, there's the double stun. Fuck. Ugh. Okay, I don't know what the hell that was, but yeah, we're sanctifying again, I think. Like, really, I'm just sitting here until either one of two things happens. Either I get a daze on everyone, which is actually... Oh my god, did it just happen? It did. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, get a daze on everyone. Curse land, isn't it a... Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. I'm just out of range. My bad. Ah, fuck. That does wake them up, though. I didn't think it did. Right, it's like if they're already standing on it, it doesn't wake them up. Shit. Oh, no. Oh, I had them all asleep. I had them all asleep, and I was fine. Why? Why am I so dumb? God damn it! I'll, I'll bet you I'll like never get them all dazed again. No. Nah. They're just gonna keep doing things to me. Oh my god! He actually gets a turn. Okay. 
Right, how tough are these guys? Not, not terribly. Uh, I'm gonna do that against my better judgement. Again, we'll sanctify, since it's the only, like, proper group heal I've got right now. But that's okay, as long as it works. Okay, one more day, so I'm just dealing with two giants now. Look, that's not bad. That's, that's not terrible. Ah, that was, though. Fuck, I forgot. Ugh! Two... It's been a big day, alright? <laughs> it's been a very big day. Uh... I'm really running out of mana here. I do have a group heal thing, I guess. I do have group heal scrolls. I don't really want to use them, though. Not if I can kind of avoid it. The scrolls I don't get back. I can do a few sanctific... Oh, okay, no. I hit, he hit me. Right. I don't know. That looked weird to me for whatever reason. Uh, do I risk it? Yep. I risk it. Because I might just smite here. Take that Basilisk out, and tr again, just try to get this daze. Okay. Oh, it wakes him up every time. I thought, like, ground status effects didn't do that. Apparently that's incorrect. No wonder I'm not making any ground on these daisies. Well, I made some ground there, I guess. Okay, kill that. You're still stunned. Sucks. But I can sanctify again. That's probably the last time I can do that. Unless I start throwing more, uh... More thingies out. More more energy potions. Which, again, I don't really want to do. If it looks like I'm going to lose, though. Ugh, you fucking lightning. God, I want you dead. Oh, no, I can't do that. Okay. Uh... What? No. Escape to cancel. Sorry. Group heal. Then just smite his ass. Thank you. Don't need any of that. And we'll just try to freeze him. He's cold-blooded. Should work. That's my logic anyway. Hopefully it's correct. Right. That was a battle. That was a thing. The ground in the ancient stone circle is covered with bones and broken weapons. There is a variety of coins and cheap jewellery, useful for barter. One body clenches a long wand of ivory and set with onyx in its bony hand. Take it. Wand of the Inferno. Ooh. Inferno, you say. Wow, hang on, what was that? How much base damage? 75 to 275. Jeez. That's hefty. Uh, how's your XP? Ah, yeah, so you're nearly full, so you'll get a full burst of energy. Any second. A uh, small hill giant village. Yeah, we'll attack them. Fuck the hill giants. We've already, we've already uh, kind of gone past that point. Uh, where can I move you? Not really anywhere that won't put you through a zone, so let's just do that. Now... Maybe we do that. And get maximum coverage, and then I can just daze these ones. Try to daze them. Go like two. It's alright. That's new. You guys... Ah, they're all slingers. Ah, oh, I thought that... Oh, no, that's an overseer. Ah, that's why it's new. Right. Oh, we're going to be fighting the stuns again, aren't we? I can see it already. That it's just going to be stun... Fuddy stun heaven. Well, I get one turn out of it at least. Okay, so you just need to heal. Him. 
you need to move back and probably do an arcane summon. We need more numbers here. Like there's there's just a ton of them. Like yeah, we're a lot stronger than they are, but numbers can just wear you down. If they decide to start attacking Aussie Nerd, for example, they will kill the shit out of me. Okay, well, you can die. I don't want to play with you. You can die. Which more or less just leaves me with some slingers. Like a couple of other nasty boys, like the Overseer, but all in all, it's pretty much just slingers who are also standing in, like, cursed land. Such a meaty sounding hit, just boof. It really sounds like you've just been, like, twatted with a big fist. A really big, just, like, the size of a, I don't know, size of a boulder, just fist that's just bang right on you. Oh, we got down. I keep thinking he's got sniper, so he occasionally gets a double, double, uh, archery. Yeah, we've pretty much got this in the bag now. There, there's no... No damage they can really do that's gonna become a threat to me. Like, they can, they can stall this out at best. I'm just gonna heal myself. Or well, Horum will heal himself. I really need Horum to level up, though, and get all that energy back. Because I don't really want to... Oh, there we go. I was about to say, I don't really want to have to go back somewhere and sleep. And now I don't. Nice. Uh, emerald, spear, spear, emerald, spear. Nice. I feel good about that genocide. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll just up the strength a little bit. Uh, we were doing nature war, right? I think we were. Ooh, perk. Could you tough feet? Especially if I start slinging the uh, cursed land all over the place, but maybe we just go for like backstab. Or parry mastery. Probably parry mastery. If he's got challenger 3, he's going to be the focus of attacks, so maybe we get him something to endure that a bit. Speaking of enduring things, let's get some endurance. And that's level 20 in priest spells, which is pretty good. And we'll go tool use. Uh, you get blessing focus. That's an easy pick. Um, we'll do the same for you. We'll get Cordelia to 11 endurance as well. Now you, you're a bit trickier. Um, I guess we're just going magical efficiency. Maybe spellcraft. Oh yeah, you can only get that to 10. So you can increase all your spells effectiveness by 20%. That's kind of lame. Uh, healing Blessing, Sword Mage. Probably not bad for her. Oh yeah, wait, she's a human. She gets two perks. Neat. We'll get robust health. Though. Make her a bit, little bit tankier so she doesn't die quite as easily. Uh, or we'll throw out. Boop. What's up here? Mandrake. Neato. Again, so I haven't really found anyone to like properly use that yet, but I guess I'll just hang on to it. Oh, but I managed to get to the ocean. I did. Maybe? Yep, that is some ocean. Is that a ghost? Are those ghosts? Okay, I already don't like it here. I'm sure... Much like their brother Casper, they are quite friendly, right? Oh wow, that's this is a whole thing. This cavern is very hot and muggy. It's hard to breathe, not just because of the humidity, but because of the thick smell of ozone. You can hear the constant buzz of magical energy discharging into the air. Just ahead, you can see several large crystals, each on a sturdy stone base. The glowing stones are firing beams of searing energy. Each draws power from a nearby spherical crystal also on a stone stand. This is powerful magic, used to transfer raw energy through the air. It is not immediately clear who created these things or why. Well, I'm just going to assume 
probably mistaken that this is powering the, uh, the, what do you call it? The, the force field, so let's see if we can't get rid of it, hey? Three of the mirrors in this room look unusual. They're on a circular stone base, which is not attached to the floor. If you push, you could probably move these mirrors around. Yep, let's just do that. Ah, so you probably have to get to there, I, I presume. Uh, hmm, okay. Again, this is a whole thing. I feel like... Wait, am I pushing this? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh my god, I am. Hmm. Yeah, that's... this is gonna be a thing. Oh, that's the mirror. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah, those are the mirrors. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I pushed that into the beam. And I just fucked it, didn't I? If I leave and come back, is that going to be fixed? Oh, thank god. Okay. So it's a puzzle, eh? Well, okay. Pushing that into there seems to be, like, <clears throat> the good first move. And then let's just have a look around and see what we can... So we can kind of shake out. In this large hall, you discover the purpose of the powerful beam projectors constructed in these tunnels. The hall contains a large teleporter surrounded by several energy receptors. Some of the receptors are charged. You can see that they are sending a constant, barely visible flow of power to the central portal. It must be a very powerful teleporter to require this much energy. At this point, though, the teleporter is flickering. It looks unstable. It isn't getting enough energy. Getting enough energy to function properly, yeah. Someone smashed this crystal with a hammer. They did a thorough job of it. They must have wanted to prevent anyone from using the teleporter. Well, should have done a better job then, shouldn't they? Because it seems like I can just connect up, uh, connect up that one. Somehow. Uh, yeah, okay, we're not going to go into the portal if it's not fully powered. Alright, we'll keep looking around. Okay, two, uh, two mirrors, some rocky boys, ooh, can't break that one down, maybe we're not supposed to be here yet, well, we're really not supposed to be here yet, you find a larger workshop, much of the equipment and materials has been removed, but enough was left behind to be able to tell that this was where many if not all of the beam projectors were made. Uh, yes please. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, purging crystal. Still haven't used a single one of those. What do they do again? Uh, mass curing. Probably should have, uh, probably should have used that in the, uh, <clears throat> the last battle with the, uh, little giant arseholes. Okay, I'm trying to think what we do here. What if I just push that... Well, that's kind of fucking unhelpful. Okay, there we go. Not sure what I really achieved there. Aside from just sealing myself in. Like a genius. Okay, shunt that out. We just... Bleh. Okay, well now I can't get to that one. Well, I suppose I can. I just need to push this one in the way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, right. The beam. <laughs> I remember that now. No, 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 no. Don't, let, let's, let's not do anything that foolish. Uh, Horam, you wanna, you wanna throw some heals at us real quick, in case I, uh, walk into a crackling beam of energy again? Just, just, please. Okay, and then what if we, let's just push this to the side, and then we will push this out of the way. Right, oops, no, no, get out of the beam! 
God damn it. It's almost unfair that it, uh... It, like, actually hurts you for walking into the beam, because... Uh, it really should- it should just block your path, so you can't actually get, like, go through it. Uh, nice. Emerald, ruby, fine leather, hang on to that, and some spine shield. Thanking you. Alright, well that's that, so I can just... Oh, okay. Points that way, that's cool. I made a terrible mistake here, but maybe I can fix it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just made it worse. Okay, so they always point... Oh, okay, so right, 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 right. If I can see the mirror, it goes... Like, it's facing towards me. Right, it's on that diagonal. Okay, well, let's just... Walk through the beam. That's fine. Has to be done. Now... So I'm guessing... Well... I think I can... Because if I just keep pushing this down this way... Also, there is that area down there I haven't been in. <laughs> okay. That was unexpected. No, I need that one. I need this beam. So if I put this... Alright, just bear with me a minute. Okay, I need it to go one one more little push. I think that's lined up. Hang on. Wait, is that lined up? I think so. That's lined up with that. Right. So... If I put it in the beam right here, like that, that should have powered the teleporter. That, like, at the same time, I shouldn't have hurt myself like an idiot doing it, but that does work. Now, I should be able to get this, right? Like, no, nah, fuck. I know, I know. I know, I know. That was a dumb move, okay. Let's just shunt this up here. I mean, I don't know why I'm bothering this much with it. Like, I should just fucking run through it. Because I've already hurt myself quite a bit already. Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, A, I don't think this kind of puzzle really works in 2D like this, and B, I'm, I'm just really dumb. <sighs> ah, okay, so if I reflect them back into themselves, I can break it. Okay, okay. Alright, alright, alright. This is like, if I had to fix someone's plumbing, this is what it would look like. So, okay, if I go here, push that back into it, right? And then we'll also go up here, we'll go there, we'll... Okay, good, it did come this way, that's what I was really hoping. Alright, so push it there, push it there, right, push it here, here. And then I can just... Right, and then go... Eh! Oh, shit, it goes the other way. Whoops. My bad. My bad. I, I had the dom again. Uh, okay, in that case there's no real way to do it, in which I should just push that out of the way. Okay. Should have kept a hold of that, uh, that mirror. 
because would have been nice to have that right here. So what if I just push this out of the way, though? Ah, okay, so that one's like a... That one's a guaranteed setup there. Uh, can I just do that? Okay, except I want this... Uh, hang on. Mmm, listen to the Aussie nerd's brain work. It's not a pretty exercise. Okay. So push that out of the way, it reflects that way. Alright, this is gonna hurt. Ah, uh, no, 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 it doesn't have to. Because surely I can just do that. And then, no, okay, it's gonna hurt. Look, it's fine. It's fine. That's not what I wanted to do. But... Oh, whoops. Sorry, let's get you out of the beam. <laughs> Horm's gonna burn all his mana on my fucking stupidity. Yeah, I really wanted that there so I could destroy this. But I guess that's fine. Like, it still works. Energy runs through the elaborate arrangement of tiles on the floor. The power comes from the lit crystal orb to the portcullis holding it open. Alright, we're just gonna tank this one. It's fine. Oh my god, it just keeps going. I don't suppose I can break any of these? Nah. Hmm. Right, and I'm gonna, like, want mirrors for this. So I probably did just want to smash that one. Okay, well, let's just go back. It's gonna hurt a little bit, but what well, doesn't at the moment? Here, here, go there and just boop it back that way. Okay. That'll, that'll do for the moment. Let's go play with the portal. Because that should have powered the portal. Boom, look at that. Just gonna point out, like, I did this bit, the, what I'm going to call the actual puzzle, really easily. Teleporter is not large, but radiates considerable power. Long glowing tunnel, extending far into the distance. Ah, uh, step away from it. Save. Walk into the portal. You step into the teleporter. It's agonizing. You can feel it ripping you apart. You scream and black out. And wake up. You feel weak and nauseated. You feel like the portal flung you a long, long way away. Wow. Really didn't, though, flung you, like, the next area. Sign says reset mirrors. Ugh. The cave-in has blocked off the western exit of this chamber. The tunnel is blocked with two large crumbling stones. Between you and them are a pair of searing beams blocking your path. <sighs> okay. So I need to direct at least one of these beams that way, which means I need this mirror. Right? Like if I push this right here, nope. Okay. Gonna point this out, and here's why it doesn't work. Because the beam does not, like you have to be really paying attention on direction. Like, I have to be aware that it comes from that side. Because if it was coming from that side, it would have worked, see? That's, this is why it's a bit silly. Uh, okay. Is there any way I can kill a beam here? Well, there is, but... Yeah, okay, hang on, hang on. If I... <clears throat> oh, no, but I can't kill a beam, because I have to... have to connect those two. Right, 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 right. Well, alright, what if I... Hang on. Okay, that was... that was shit. Alright. Alright, okay. So... 
I want this out and I want that out. This has to go this way and we'll just put it in where it needs to be, which is there. Right? Yeah. Boom, like that. Now I want this to go. Had a plan for this. Right, I want it to go like this and then like that. Right? Don't know why I did that. Don't know why I did that at all. Okay, but I can do that to like let me out. I had a plan here, I promise. It was a good plan, a great plan, the best plan. Okay, so we need to get both beams to go away, basically. I get the feeling it's going to be a matter of placing this mirror in this side first. And then go from there. Because, like, what if I... Okay, hang on, hang on. Let's... I, I want to smash these mirrors. Or these lasers. Boom. Smashed one. And also, if I go boop, I can now get in here, touch the body. Uh, plus three spellcraft. Fuck yes. Give that to you, probably. Plus one to spellcraft, not plus three. And hardiness. What do you have? Ah, no, nah, we'll just get rid of that. Have the travel symbol. Enjoy. Okay, so we killed that laser. Now, that laser was not a requirement for success because we can get the same thing. Like, if I just go and reset the, reset the mirrors like that, I can get the same thing out of this beam. Ah, but I can't get in there. Ah, I'll make it work. Yeah, I can get the same thing out of this beam just by doing this. Now, if I'm right... Yep, so that opens that. Which is A-OK. -okay. Does it stay open? It does. Alright, so I can just do that. Now I have no way of getting back though, which is incredibly dumb on my part. That's fine. Alright. Uh, Heal myself. And we'll reset the mirrors again. So, do I laser them? Do I laser the rocks? It seems to be, like, implying I should do that. So what if I just push this here? Yep, okay, so that's exactly what I'm supposed to do. Done, fixed. That was an effort. What do you do? You just turn the lasers off. That's super helpful. Uh, now entering Barrier Cavern. Yeah, that sounds like what I want. This is a huge cave with a domed ceiling, below the mighty mountains separating the giants from the troglodytes. The cavern glows with magical energy, cast out by the huge crystals of the west. In the clear space of the west, you can see a lattice of power sources and beam projectors, carefully positioned to generate energy and feed it into a pair of magical barriers. The barriers block corridors to the north and south. Ugh, again, I can already see this is going to be a whole thing, and that is an enemy. And I have War Curse, that's helpful. Alright, its name is Doom Guard. I got a few minutes. Let's see how much Doom he guards or brings or whatever. I'm hoping not enough. Yeah, okay. No, he doesn't. He's a bitch. You look like a bitch, you're gonna die like a bitch. No, he's actually surviving longer than I expected. Wow. Oh my god, he duplicated. It's not really gonna save him at all, but, you know, good on him for having a thing. Good on him for having a bit. 
Okay, so does this mean I can just, like, walk in here, then, and, like, smash this crystal? After a long, tiring journey, you will finally reach the goal of your quest. There is a pedestal with a crystal on it. The crystal is only a few feet high. Its small size is amazing, considering the incredible power that rests inside it. A narrow beam of blinding white light extends from the crystal to the beam projectors above you. The beam of light seems to control them, balancing and calibrating their energy so they can keep the barriers intact. You know that many evil creatures are pent up on the other sides of the barriers. Careless trifling with the magical artifact of this power can easily result in death. Or worse. Bearing that in mind, it would be very easy to smash the crystal which holds the barriers in place. Okay, I'm going to leave it for the moment, save it real quick, now we're going to smash it. Uh, one of the drawbacks of putting this much energy in an inanimate object, such as a crystal, is that the energy must be very delicately balanced. It takes very little to upset it. Bearing this in mind, you stand a safe distance away and throw a big rock at the crystal. <laughs> nice. Didn't smash the other side, though. Weird. Uh, the crystal is still shattered. It will take a powerful magic to restore it. Until then, the giants and troglers will be at war. Your work here is on. Ah, okay, just took a couple of turns. The explosions finally cease. You try to clear your head and survey the carnage. You see a blackened pedestal surrounded by broken shards of crystal, the thick smell of ozone, and two newly unblocked passages. A glowing, insubstantial figure appears in front of you, floating above the pedestal. You prepare to defend yourself, but it doesn't attack. It says simply, They will make you pay for this. You have far yet to journey. In Gale and Black Crag lie the keys. Then the mysterious figure disappears. Interesting. You notice something glittering in the rubble where the pedestal once stood. You pick up several shards of crystal. They might help figure out who made this place. Before you have time to investigate further, you are interrupted yet again. Troglodytes run through the southern passage, coming to see what caused the explosion. Giants come from the north, searching for their natural enemies, the troglos. These two foes each face a field filled with their chosen enemies. They emit joyous battle cries. Unfortunately, you're right between them, and humans count as enemies to both sides. You have restarted the war between the troglodytes and the giants. By causing them to waste their energy against each other, you have saved many human lives. The question now is whether you'll survive long enough to enjoy your victory. I think I'll be fine. Ooh, wow, actually, that's a lot of Kazis right there. Oh boy. Well, I can kill the front, front row, or at least wound them pretty heavily. Yeah, that's a full run for old Zesh Osh. Uh, might still adrenaline rush, just see if I can get some like, spear throws. Ugh, still the Kazis, though. Can I throw down a cursed thing here? Like, right on top of them. Perfect. Uh, meanwhile, if you can daze them, or even just ensnare them, that would be fine. Oh, okay, they just keep coming. That's fine. In that case, uh, book it. We're getting the hell out of here. Like, they're tough, but they're not that tough. I can, I can get away. No, thank you. Thanks for giving me a bit of space. There we go. Bye! Uh, yes, I do want to enter it, in fact. Because I want to get the hell out of here. Neat. So I should be able to get out here, yeah? Okay. Something like that. Alright. Or just walk straight through the beam, that's fine. Alright, well. We're going to leave that episode here, because it seems like the perfect place to stop. So we brought down the giant troglo barrier, and they're now fighting again, so we've saved lots and lots of humans. So... Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you think you know any friends that might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video or two with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for the videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so that I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.